Morning. Um, something happened last night, guys. Um, I was in a in a crash, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you a bit more about it later on today. But yeah, I'll start the day off by showing you what I'm gonna eat. This is my breakfast. Cereal, raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. And I'm gonna add some soy milk. Also, I'm gonna have. Uh, it was hot chocolate yesterday, but now it's like cold chocolate, I guess, with coffee. I couldn't finish it last night, so I'm gonna have it now with my breakfast. Finished breakfast. Watching The Punisher. I'm gonna have my vitamins now. Usually I have one pill a day, sometimes I miss. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not trying to catch up. One pill a day is enough. And yeah, and then. I'll show you guys what I do next. Guys, I'll briefly tell you what actually happened and why I'm recording this video today. Um, yesterday, I had a shift at um, the Broadway Hotel, which is like one hour away from Coventry. And uh, yeah, it was like an eight hour shift from 3 to 11. They let me go earlier around like 10 ish. And I was like crushing on my way home. And um, it's a one hour drive. And what happened was, I mean, everything was okay until like I kind of reached Coventry. And um, the car in front of me slowed down like, yeah, slowed down. And I wasn't really sure if the guy's gonna stop or like just slow down and then continue forward or anything. And then all of a sudden, the car was like too fucking close, and I tried to avoid hitting it. And what happened was, I turned right. I was in the middle lane, so I turned right into the lane next to mine. And um, yeah, the car started like spinning, like whoosh, left, right, left, right, and then. I hit the side of the road, like there, there's something like a fence or whatever it is that's splitting both roads and yeah, my car is pretty, pretty fucked up right now. And um, three guys stopped and, you know, asked if I was okay. I mean, I, I couldn't speak for like 10 minutes or something. The airbags went off, my lights, the car was like beep 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 all kind of alarm systems in there uh, these guys pulled over gave me a hand and like they were asking me if I'm okay but I could, couldn't answer shit and they, they were the ones that called the police because it was on the A46 like on the way to Coventry like four miles just before the city and um, yeah the police came they asked me for my uh, like my driving license and stuff and then I checked and I usually I have it in my bag but I didn't, and I just remember that I've left it in my jacket, which I didn't bring with me because it was at home and stuff, and yeah, so I called my, for the first person I spoke to was my girlfriend, yeah, I called her, she's in America currently, but yeah, and these were the, f like, 10 minutes after the crash, she was the one I spoke to, and then I... And then I called my my boss in a way, and then he called a friend of ours, who came and gave I mean like dropped off the documents and then dropped me off at my place. The police helped me um, drive the car out of the road, so we stopped at a petrol station at Marks and Spencer's. And yeah, they left me there. They asked me for my uh, driving license, as I said, but I didn't have it at the time. Then they left, uh, my friends came, and we were just gonna move the car to a car park, and then another police car comes up, and they like asked me to take the keys out of my vehicle, and you know, that kind of shit. 
and they said that they're searching for stolen vehicles or something and they said that they, they said they saw my Mercedes and they were like they assumed it's stolen because it was in that kind of condition but yeah, everything was okay and that, I was like the car park is literally like five feet that way if I get pulled once more I'm I'm done and yeah we went and parked it two other police cars came it was they didn't say anything they just arrived I don't know for backup or whatever and yeah we left the car we transitioned all my items from it like all belongings and stuff like everything literally everything and we left the park there I was calling my insurance throughout the thing but apparently on the wrong number then I came home uh, sort out my things and uh, checked my documents and found another number to make a claim and called that number and they picked up after like 20 minutes and we had a chat for another half an hour the girl couldn't understand the word I was saying which is so it made me spell everything like letter by letter it was <sighs> So yeah, um, they said that this like claiming company, they said they're gonna talk to my insurance company and um, they're gonna get back to me after the bank holidays because yesterday was Friday, today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, Monday is bank holiday or these three days, I don't know what it is. And they said that they should be back to me on Tuesday or Wednesday. I told them exactly what happened and they said like... Um, my insurance company gonna get back to me if they're gonna like cover the fix of my car I mean isn't that what insurance companies do but yeah I'll, I'll let you know how it goes down later on but yeah I'm pretty much waiting right now for like three three four days to hear back from my insurance company to see if they're gonna pay for the for the repair of my vehicle um, for those of you who don't know, I drive a white Mercedes C220. Um, 2009 is uh, the year of the car, and it was on like 50,000 miles, 58 or something. Well, when I got it, now it's like 64. But yeah, it was a really good car, and I wrecked it. Hopefully, they covered it because these things, I'll show you pictures in a few minutes, are <sighs> the lights, are the doors, the air, it's. The car is a mess from the right side, the driver's side, yeah. But yeah, I'll be going downstairs right now to, you know, wash the things out of my breakfast and uh, pump the tires of my bike and then I'll go take a few pictures of the car because I need to show it to the insurance company to see, like, what damages and see if they're going to cover it or not. Afterwards, the plan is to go gym. It's a shoulder day. <laughs> But yeah, and then, I don't know, read, chill, get relaxed. It was, last night was messed up in a way that, I think the shock is what got to me the most, and I like, I couldn't speak. I started, you know, like, sw swearing my words, and, um, yeah, I couldn't fall asleep last night till, like, 3 a.m. or something, and I was in bed at 1. I was, like, turning around, like, you know, I... I like, my room is close to the street and I hear these, like, uh, noises from other cars and I freak out and it was, it was ugly. But yeah, either way, I'll show you the pictures of the car now. Something else happened, guys. Um, well, one of my friends just called me uh, Vesco, cool guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's gonna come with me to have a look at the car, see what. Maybe he's, I would say, an engineer, but I'm not really sure what he is. But he has a really, really good understanding about cars and stuff, and he's gonna help me take the shots and things and see what's gonna cost what. He he'll give me his opinion in a way. And yeah, I'll uh, cycle downtown and then he's gonna pick me up from the city center and we're gonna go see the car. Boom. Off it's ready. Now, uh, I prepped a meal because I might get hungry on the way. And yeah, time to go. Bike is also ready. Whew. Let's see it.
there it is. Who's this guy, yes? This is it, guys. The one, ne? Как така е Смисъл? Сукане, виж гума. Виж как е така. Тази гума е хеме така, хеме е така. Guess what happened, guys? I got this on my windshield. So yeah, this is it, guys. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. We're gonna check what's functional, what's not. Come up with a like, I don't know how much is it gonna cost or anything. And yeah, and I'll leave it here. I'll let you know what happens in the next vlog, where you know I I get back. I mean the my insurance company get back to me and tells me, you know, if they're gonna cover it or if they're gonna buy it off or I'll let you know what's gonna happen. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Stay tuned for the rest of it. Mm.